Hello everyone, this is Anjana Kumar and I am standing right in the middle of a kitchen garden uh, as claimed by an Indian expat, Mr. Praveen, who has uh, been uh, working really hard to make it look so pretty and beautiful. He's also growing several hundred kilos of uh, vegetables, herbs. Uh, he has a nice interesting fish tank as well. And what's more important is that in the last last months of quarantine he was so self-sufficient thanks to this thriving kitchen garden that he has here that he's never had to step out and buy even one um, vegetable or herb uh, to cook uh, in the house so we thought this was a really interesting story and that's exactly why we're here so it's really beautiful what you've created here uh, mr. Praveen it's, it looks really gorgeous it, uh, and we can see that there's a lot of hard work that's gone in so please explain what is in this garden it's so pretty actually it looks like hard work but uh, I don't think it's uh, hard work if you spend if you can spend one hour time okay. uh, you know uh, it's easily you can maintain uh, uh, this type of kitchen what garden. have you created what do you have in this kitchen garden what uh, what all required in for the kitchen mm. so that we are you know not thinking about it will grow or not Okay. Uh, what is required we are doing here that's uh, it so it's a very need based uh, gardening that you've been doing so whatever vegetables you need you've been planting them exactly okay so, so w i see that you have uh, herbs here you have mint yeah exactly. spinach yeah. and uh, what other vegetables this is growing? all uh, like uh, it's natural fencing now in the it will protect you know heat hmm. so under the it's a uh, tindly you know the hmm. vegetable tindly hmm. So the leaves are protecting, you know, the mm. heat and all. Mm. So under this uh, roof, we can, you know, almost uh, like a uh, winter, we can do, you know, lots of uh, mm -hmm. vegetable and uh, herb and uh, uh, spinach varieties. Okay. Because we are South Indian, like more spinach type uh, mm. vegetable. We have around uh, three, four variety spinach. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Uh, this obviously did not happen overnight. So yeah. since when have you been working on creating this? Garden. Actually, it's uh, seven years uh, uh, before my friends started his gardening, and only two mm -hmm. years since uh, two years back, uh, he handed over to me. So I just uh, continue uh, like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about how uh, useful this kitchen garden was during this quarantine period. You did not buy one item of uh, vegetable or grocery thanks to everything here yeah yeah exactly yeah so and uh, do actually the uh, having uh, you know this type of uh, kitchen garden mm -hmm. uh, during this period yeah oh. that was a, a wonderful experience actually mm -hmm. before you know uh, thinking about getting a fresh uh, pesticide free vegetable from our kitchen garden that's it mm -hmm. but during this period we had a step out uh, you know uh, everything we got it uh, from our garden, mm -hmm. including all the you know three four varieties, mm -hmm. uh, what is called beans, mm -hmm. everything uh, thinly, um, uh, cabbage, cauliflower, mm -hmm. uh, even curry leaf, uh, the coriander leaves, mm -hmm. everything, almost everything, all the vegetable we got it uh, from here. Uh, can outside. you have something through the year, including yeah, winter? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, really? sure. That's why this. That's the benefit of this natural fencing on the top. Mm -hmm. You know, the tindly actually not uh, giving tindly, uh, the harvesting uh, the quantities little less, mm -hmm. but the benefit is uh, fencing, mm -hmm. the natural fencing. So, mm -hmm. so under this roof, we can grow almost like winter, we can uh, grow mm -hmm. the vegetables here. Yeah. Okay, so you can grow so many other things which yeah. are... But only the thing is the duration of the watering, we have to increase. Mm -hmm. Like every three hours, we have to, you know, we, are we have a special... You know, so water uh, uh, tank is here, mm -hmm. so the heat, hot water is storing there mm -hmm. to keep it cool and uh, then giving to the plant. At the same time, we have a fish pond. We are storing the water there, so the like aquaponic system. So the fish waste and all it's going to the plants. So it's like a fertilizer thing. It will grow and uh, get maximum uh, out, uh, you know, products from the plants. And what is also so interesting is uh, that uh, there are four honey wains uh, right here in the garden and according to Mr. Praveen they've all been created through natural pollination that's been happening thanks to the garden that he's been growing. 
so uh, there are uh, uh, bees coming here and uh, making the honey and he's lucky enough to have a variety of honey uh, being uh, made uh, right in uh, his house let's go and take a look at one of them Welcome to Praveen's poultry and uh, the eggs uh, from uh, this poultry is absolutely natural because the hens are not uh, genetically modified in whatsoever way. Uh, they are natural and it's, it's, it's really beautiful how uh, he is having uh, this poultry here uh, just uh, to produce some homegrown eggs. It takes one thought to make a difference in this world. If you want to take inspiration, take it from Praveen. Look at the way he's made himself self-sufficient in times where people panicked to, uh, to wonder if they would have enough produce at home uh, in a pandemic situation. So when you think out of the box and when you think sustainable, wonders and magic happens. Take inspiration from Praveen. This is Anjana Kumar, Gulf News.